Hey there, Gophers. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're diving into scheduling tasks with the GoCron library. This powerful library makes it easy to schedule jobs in your Go applications. Let's get started. More often than not, for jobs like periodic data backups, sending notifications or emails, cleaning up logs and temporary files, data synchronization, generating reports, monitoring and alerts, running routine maintenance, Job scheduling allows us to automate such repetitive tasks, ensuring they run at specific times or intervals without manual intervention. GoCron is a Golang job scheduling library that lets you run functions periodically at predetermined intervals using a simple human-friendly syntax. It supports various kinds of jobs like running jobs at a specific time, cron jobs, daily, weekly and monthly jobs, and many more. First we need to install GoCron. Open your terminal and run this command. Let's create our first scheduled task. We will begin by creating a new scheduler. This imports the package automatically. We should be using the version 2 of the package. Here we create a new scheduler. This returns a scheduler object and an error. Let's receive these. Handle the error. Now we will add a simple task that runs at specific intervals. Here we create a new job using the scheduler. Next we define the type of job which is duration job. Within this we define the interval as 30 seconds. The function new task defines the function that runs when the job is triggered. Here we defined a function that takes a string as an argument and logs it. And here we specify the argument that is passed to the function. With this function, with name, we can specify the name of the job. This is optional. Let's log the job ID. Each job has a unique ID of its own. We have our first job ready. Now, we need to start the scheduler. To let the scheduler run, we need to have an infinite loop here. We will read the system signal for the clean exit and shut down the scheduler. Here, a channel SIGCHAN is created to handle operating system signals. It has a buffer size of 1, meaning it can hold one signal. This line sets up the SIGCHAN to receive signals, which are typically sent when the user wants to terminate the program. This starts a new Go routine. The code inside this function runs concurrently with the main program, shuts down the scheduler, and terminates the app when the signal is received. Let's try it now. This is the ID of the job. We can see here, this job runs every 30 seconds. Now we will create a cron job similar to Linux crontab. Let's copy-paste this job. We will use the function cronjob. In this function, we pass the crontab string and a boolean that specifies if we want to execute the job at a specific second. We will keep this false. Let's run this crontab every 10 minutes. We will keep the same task but change this string. Let's change the name as well.
On running the application, we get these prints. Here we can see this job ran at the 10th minute. The next one would run on the 20th minute and so on. Now we will create a job that runs daily. We will copy-paste this job. We will use the function daily job. The first argument is the interval which signifies the, the number of days between each trigger of the job. One means this job runs daily. The next argument specifies the times at which this job is run. For this, we use the function newart times. Within this function, we set the time with the function newart time. Here, the arguments are hours, minutes and seconds to trigger the job. In the task, let's add another argument. Here, we also have to send two arguments. We can also add another trigger to the job. This way, we can add multiple triggers. Let's try this. Here, the daily job runs at the time specified. Gokron provides various types of jobs. You can find them in the documentation. We will talk about a few more that I find interesting. This is a one-time job that runs only once. We can create it using this function. Here, we need to specify the start time of the job. I am triggering it after 10 seconds from now. This one is a random duration job. This is when you want to add some randomness. We can run it with this function. This job will run any time between 2 minutes to 4 minutes. Gokron provides another feature that lets us set event listeners on the job. We can do so with with event listeners function. Next, we will add before job runs listener. It accepts this function as argument. It has the job ID and the job name. Let's add a print here. Similar to this, we can have a listener that runs after the job is executed. Let's copy-paste this. This function is after job runs. There are listeners that runs on error or panic. We will demonstrate this listener that runs on error. It requires this function as an argument. Let's add a print here. Now let's run this. This is the one-time job that runs after 10 seconds of the process start. We can see for this job before and after listeners have run. And that's it. You've now understood how to use Gokron to schedule jobs in your Go applications. Whether you need simple or complex scheduling, Gokron has you covered. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Go tutorials. 
Thanks for watching and happy coding.